Are we ready? My favourite things at the moment. Spring water from a can, recyclable. Oh, so cold, so good. And these babies. If you've never tried these, you are missing out. Lime and coriander chutney, the best. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a part two of my Amazon vlog. Amazon vlog, Amazon video. Everybody seems to love these. I get messages from people saying that they bought lots of things from the list. So obviously we will be uploading more of these more often. And let's get straight into the video. The first thing I want to mention this time is some underwear separators. Now, don't get me wrong, I would never be that organised as to separate my underwear every single time you do your washing and you're putting your washing away. Like, I just cannot be bothered with that. What I do use them for is my cosmetics and skincare, things like that. And I just love that you can separate everything in a big deep drawer and it will just look a lot more uniform. And it's strange because you used to put in acrylic separators in there, but you can also use these soft ones as well and it works a treat. Next, I would like to mention screen protectors for your phone. I can't live without a screen protector. I think I've mentioned these before, but I'm just so bad. My phone is constantly smashing on the floor and these are a lifesaver. You just simply put your phone model in and screen protector and you can buy them in a pack of like three. So it's just great whenever you smash the protector, you just easily replace it. I did make a mistake of purchasing the wrong model and they went straight to my mum who has that model. So just be careful about that. I am talking quiet by the way because there are people downstairs so I just get so embarrassed about people hearing me. Next we have some boot shapers. So I got some long boots. They wouldn't stand up properly so I just got some of these. Amazon. I didn't even bother measuring it. I just thought they'll be okay. And that makes them stand up perfectly and not fall over. Nice little hack there that I knew from working at Clark's shoe shop years ago. My heels are looking quite messy on display. So I bought these. These have just come through the post. So I'm going to show you them now. So you can see how messy these heels look. Really, really bad. That took me way longer than it should have. The jumper is off. The weather is deceiving right now in England. But yes, this looks still quite messy i'm not sure i need to have a fiddle around with that but that is what i'm kind of trying to show you it just looks like it would as if it was on your foot so much better much prettier if you're just chucking them in your wardrobe and nobody sees them then you're not going to need these but if they're on display it's just a way of making them look pretty i got some tiny studs for my ears because my second piercings are still healing i mean they're healed but it's that point where you can't leave earrings out or they will try and heal so i just needed some tiny studs for sleeping in just to keep something in the ear so that they won't um, heal up and these are absolutely minuscule there's no point me even showing you them i'll just put a picture up because they're that small you can barely see them but it does the job and i was pleased to find them on amazon i do want to talk about clothing on amazon because it is a lot better than people think I can't actually find the two items that I want to speak about. They must be in the wash. I'm so annoying when you just need them and they're not there. But I got some gym yoga pants. Very, very stretchy. Just great for lounging around the house in, if you're like me. Or you can actually do some yoga. And then the other pair was this bra and shorts combo. It's ribbed. It's got a really nice compressed feeling, which is what you want with the gym wear. And really like the colour of that. Good for working out in the summer. I came across this brand called Faith in Nature when I was looking for some natural scents for the home because I read about women's hormones and what can actually cause PMS. And a lot of it is to do with the fragrance in your home. So if you have too much synthetic fragrance or actually anything on the bottle, if it says fragrance, that means synthetic. I just got some natural stuff, some hand wash and some soap just to curb the mood swings. At that time in the month ladies will appreciate i also reduced my diffusers and candles in the house because obviously that's just full of crap that you're breathing in and it's affecting your hormone levels so i just got this lavender scented uh, hand wash and it's really relaxing actually nice to use before bed oh, i got this amazing ironing board hanger for your ironing board and your iron it didn't fit on the back of the door in my boiler cupboard so i was really annoyed at that but then I found a new place which you could just hang just inside the door, inside the room of the cupboard, sorry. And oh my goodness, you can fit them both there. They just sit at the top of my broiler cupboard looking very pretty and ready to grab. So I'm really happy with that. <laughs> no, it's so geeky, but I love it. 
Next, I want to talk about these pet hair dissolvers for your washing machine. These are in sachets, so you literally shove that into the drum with, I use like dog blankets and anything that has too much hair on it. Bedding I use it for as well, and it's really effective at dissolving all of the hairs. Worth it, a little bit pricey, but good if you have got people coming around and you want to freshen stuff up and get all the hairs off things. As we're talking about pets, I will talk about the dog peanut butter that I love. I mean, I think it's just basically peanut butter without the palm oil. Oh no, it's not. It's a certain ingredient, actually. I can't remember what the ingredient is, but yeah, um, always make sure that you're not feeding them normal peanut butter. I love to just put this on his licky mat, which is my next item. This is a square mat um, with lots of different holes in, which, finds, which makes it hard for them to get it out. So if you're going out, I'll just squeeze a load of this stuff onto it. And then I also bought some sprinkles. Really sad, I know. I bought some chicken sprinkles to put on the peanut butter to make it extra tasty for him. <laughs> I really love those two for when you're going out and you need him to be entertained for a couple of hours. Oh, this is pretty much the same thing. This is a liver flavour, but you can get different flavours. And this is again, great for the licky mat and it's got a good top bit here. It's got a bit of, <laughs> bit of it coming out there, but you just press that against the mat and it will just squeeze until you've got enough out of it. Same brand, Kong also do biscuits that fit into their Kong toys, which I can't believe I didn't know about because I've had these Kong toys for years. Didn't realize that the biscuits just slot in nicely and the dog finds it hard to get out again. Keeps them entertained for hours, so thank you, Kong. Okay, couple of kitchen items. This is an apple corer. It looks absolutely huge, but you literally just put it straight on the apple like this and it's done and the core is just left in the middle. Oh. This is something that I actually haven't used for years and I got out the other day and I was like, why don't I use this every time I have an apple? It just makes me want to eat a load of apples now. I bought some, is it Monin syrup, caramel syrup um, for the coffee machine. You see it in Costa, they sell every single flavour in Costa, but it was great to find that they were on Amazon. So I just pop a little bit of that into my iced coffee because I hate caramel in hot drinks. I think it's just far too sweet, but apparently we can't taste sweetness as much in iced drinks, which is why I need a bit of caramel in there. Now then, this item is interesting because years ago, somebody said Jennifer Anderson's favorite snack was chopped up apple and almond butter. So this is, I don't know, we've got some sort of oil leakage here. So whenever I feel like I want to be like Jennifer Aniston, what would she do? I crack out the almond butter and it's a bit healthier than peanut butter. I got myself a Chili's bottle, which is on Amazon in all sorts of colors. This keeps your drink mega, mega hot. It won't even budge after hours and hours, but also mega cold in the summer. So I recently had to go and sing at a wedding. It was unbelievably hot. I just put a load of ice in here, filled it up with water, and at 11 o'clock at night, six hours later, it was still absolutely freezing. And this was my absolute savior. So thank you very much. In the kitchen I've got these stackable drawers for under my sink. I've always wanted to have a really organised under the sink but I can never get it right so I had a bit of a move around recently and I'm trying these out. Um, you do have sticky things that you can put under the drawers to keep them from slipping when you're pulling the drawer out and so far they are working so I just put my cleaning products, baby wipes, things like that in there and yeah seems to be working. I like that they're clear and you can obviously see what's in them. And then my last item today is a book called Manifest. I've seen this author all over programs like This Morning explaining how to manifest and I just read this book. I can't actually show it you today because Bear chewed it to bits but luckily I had read it in time. I love the big orange cover, it's great for display purposes as well. Nice bright summery look. And that's it for another Amazon video. I hope you've enjoyed everything today. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed it and don't forget to press that subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe, it just means you'll get to see more of my videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.